So first of all, bring in your gun. Tab into edit mode and then select the vertex on the top of the head. Now press shift S. This will open the menu. Select cursor to select it. Now press shift A and then select circle. Now tab into edit mode, select all vertices with A, E to extrude and then Z and then Z to snap it to the Z axis. Start extruding and form a rough shape of a beanie. Press F to fill in the face. Turn on, turn on proportional editing and then move the selected face down. Check face normal. Tab into edit mode. Select all faces with A and then press Shift Ctrl N. Check inside in the menu. Uncheck. Shade it smooth in the data properties panel under the normal tab check auto smooth and then set 60 degree angle mark the selected edge as sharp by control E and then select mark sharp now we need to take care of the bottom of the Select the edge and then press E to extrude and then F to scale. Press Z. This will open the menu and then select material preview. Now adjust the head, adjust the beanie as I am doing it. Turn on proportional editing, tab into edit mode. Make sure you have vertex select mode. And then rotate the front of the head slightly. Select vertices from both sides and then press S X and then scale it. Our beanie is almost complete now. Now I need a small buff ball above the beanie. For this select the beanie, tab into edit mode and then select the face. Then press shift S and then press cursor to select it. Now press shift A and then select UV sphere. Segment 24 Now go into front view by pressing numpad 1. Select the sphere, tab into edit mode. 
press Alt Z for X-ray view. Make sure you are in face select mode. Select the faces that I have selected. X and then faces. This will get rid of the uh, faces that we have selected. Now shade it smooth. Scale down the UV sphere and position it correctly. Remove the 3D cursor by pressing Shift C. Select the head, go into edit mode and then add select mode. Select the edge and then press U and then mark theme. This will mark the edge as in red color. We are marking the seam to UV unwrap the hair. You can select any edge. I will select this one and then mark it seam. So my beanie is done. Now I have to UV unwrap the ball. To select an edge loop, hold down Alter and then select the edge. Now it's time for UV editing. Select the beanie. Tab into edit mode. Select all vertices and then press U and then unwrap. Make sure when you unwrap the beanie, you set the method as conformal. So you can see that our island has a weird shape. It's not straight. So to make it straight, select any rectangle in the beanie island. I select this rectangle and I'm, I'm going to straighten its edges. Go into vertex select mode. Select these two vertex and then press S, X and then 0 on number. Select the top edge and then press S, Y and zero. Now I will select the rectangle and press L. Select the remaining island. Now press U and then 
select follow active course and then ok move the island into the UV space same process with the fur bone S X 0 and then S Y 0 then L press L to select the remaining island and then U follow active course and then OK now let's apply the texture select the beanie and then select new click on the yellow dot and then select image texture click on open and then select the texture that uh, the texture is provided in the description scroll down and set the specular value to zero The roughness will be set to zero also. Now select the fur ball and set the same material as of the beanie. In my case, the material is named as material 004. Now we just need to scale the UV. So I will select these two islands and then scale them. Now I am going to deal with the fur ball. I am also going to scale down its UVs. Uh, our beanie is complete. Now go back to the uh, layout tab. Once your beanie is done, select both parts and then join them together by pressing Ctrl J. This will make them one part. Now if you move it, it will move as a single part. You can add more details if you want to. Make sure the triangle, you stay under the triangle limit of 4000 points. 